I'm here with coach Tom Flood, leading on both men's and women's sides from Grand, from Grand Canyon. How does it feel to be leading heading into the final day? Oh, it, it, it feels really good. It was a very good day to be a GCU Lope. Um, just leading both teams. The girls got a pretty sizable margin um, lead right now. Um, guys, I think we're up by 10 going into tomorrow. Um, we were down by 49 points last year, so it, it's, it's a really good feeling. Um, had a very exceptional day. And would you rather lead going into the final day or kind of come from behind and push yourselves? Uh, I think that's an easy question, an easy answer that absolutely I'd be love to lead. Um, anytime, I don't, I don't think there's, there's a target on our back anyway. So, uh, yeah, I'll take the points anywhere we can get them. And to have a lead, that's even, even better. We're, we're, we're going to show up tomorrow and work as hard as we can regardless, though. And who stepped up the most for you today? Uh, on the girls' side, we had a uh, one through five finish in the women's pole vault. Um, it's a fairly weak event, but still our girls had to go show up and compete and get it done, and they did. So that was 33 points from them. Um, we had 21 points from the girls in the long jump. Uh, I think we had 15 points uh, from the women in the weight throw, and we also won the DMR and a school record to finish the night. So it was very nice. Um, Guy-wise, uh, had 28 points in the men's long jump. Uh, we had a 1-2-6 finish to start off the day in the men's heptathlon. Um, uh, gosh, what else did we have? High jump, I think we scored 15 points. So again, it was a very, very good first day for us. Uh, no, and we're, yeah, we're ready to go tomorrow. Can't wait for tomorrow. And of all the events you just brought up, which one was key in having the lead tonight? Oh, uh, I, I, I would think setting off the tone with the, the guys' hep. Um, Going, going one, two, and that to those guys. I think it just really set the tone for everybody, and I think it just kind of snowballed from that. Obviously, we knew the girls were going to do very well in the vaults, regardless. Uh, but it just seemed like the fever kind of caught both the men's and women's long jump. Marcus uh, Flanagan um, had a huge jump on his last one, 773, new school record, and we've got a very talented, a lot of good marks in our long jump. We've had a lot of su success in our five years history, so it was really fun to see him on his last jump pull off a school record. And what event is key tomorrow to bring this one home? Uh, every one of them counts. All the points are the same, but I think we're in a really good position. We'll go and try and win the day tomorrow like we're behind. Um, but I think we've got, on, on the guys' side, then we've got five guys in the men's hurdle. Um, that'll kind of start us off. Um, four guys in both the, the 60 and the 200. Um, three guys in the 400. They're sitting very well. Girl-wise, I think it's the same thing. I think we've got... Uh, three or four in the, uh, the the hurdles. I know we got four in both the 60 and the 200. Um, two girls in good position in the 400 and just uh, be a good day for the guys. Uh, we got our men's vault tomorrow. Um, we're good in the triple jumps on both the men and women's side. Um, I, I, just everybody goes out and performs and does their best. I, I think we'll, we'll be very happy with both finishes. Is there anyone in particular that you really want to see step up? Gosh, well, every one of them, you know, they're, they're all like your kids. You love them all the same. And uh, I don't know, I just, I, I would love to win both four by fours at the end of the day, regardless of what the score is. It's just always nice to finish with those two races and finish with two wins. So um, we'll, we'll show up and start the day as best we can and hopefully finish it uh, on the same note.